Okay, we're recording. We're recording. That's, uh, I think I know the, the audio on my thing is rubbish. Um, okay, so what we're doing, we're testing out um, the Core Gadget plugins to see if they work in FL Studio correctly. Um, let's see what we got. Let's go into my program files. Let's look down here. Uh, normally, FL Studio is installed in a folder called Image Line, and we can't see Image Line. So now let's look in here. Let's type in FL Studio. Nothing. Reflector 2. Very good application if you want to record um, your iPads and things like that on your Windows computers. Anyhow, so there we go. Let's look at Core Gadget. Try and type it correctly. There you go. Nothing. And FL Studio. Nothing. So there we go. So we've checked. <coughs> I am currently using Windows 10. Uh, Enterprise and it's a 64 bit operating system, installed memory, 32 gig. Uh, we've got the Core TM, whatever that means, uh, trademark uh, i7 8700K CPU, 3.7 gigahertz. So that's pretty good. Uh, so let's close that, we don't need that anymore. And then let's go to our downloads. We have got the latest version of FL Studio downloaded now. This has been updated since I've used it last, so here we go. So that's in that's downloaded. We have got the latest core gadget plugin, 2.3.0 underscore two. So let us delete this folder and let's yeah, let's uh, extract all. So we'll leave that extracting. While that's extracting, let us install this massive jump. 20.1 to 20.5. Fantastic. I'm just holding this. Oh, look at that. That's pretty cool, the colours and stuff. Oh, and this top's actually grey, but it comes out pink. That's pretty cool as well. Anyhow, right, let's have a look. Um, so, what's it doing? Right, good. So, we've got that set up. Now, let's go to here and let's install FL Studio. I agree. Gree, gree, gree. Gree, 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 gree. I am gree, gree, gree. Let's minimize that. Next. Settings. Uh, what's that? Clear. Reset the settings of the installation before. Migrate some settings such as search. But no, let's just not have that. Here we go. Oh. Right, come on. Next. Next. Install. Come along now. We're going to have all of this in the video because this is this is called testing. It's one of those things where it'll be there extracting and something will go. <coughs> Let's move this to the desktop. Image line. There we go. We're starting to get this image line folder. Oh come on. Tom 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 kick 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 tom 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 snare 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 tom 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 kick 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 tom tom snare Move along now. Let's just uh, empty the recycle bin while we're here. And let's just position this here. Let's try and make sure that this window's aligned here because I've got some sort of weird O C D thing. Let's highlight these and deselect them. Very strange that I do this. I do it at work as well. There we go. Come on now. There you go. I've selected and deselected every single file on my desktop. Come on. Let's have a nice cup of tea. Jesus, this this is taking a little while. I mean, I'm not. I can't really. I don't want to cut it out. I probably can do. I think you can slice it out of the in the actual editing suite, can't you, of YouTube? This microphone. I, I don't know. I got it for sixty dollars, sixty odd dollars. But and it looks fantastic. But it just seems to record crap, or maybe I just don't know how to do the settings properly in OBS. Wow. Oh 
Yeah, they've done a massive update because uh, FL Studio have introduced something new. There's actually a new plugin. Oh, that's going to be awesome. I can't wait to mess with that one. Yeah, that's it. It's got loads of noises to it, loads of synth noises and stuff, and uh, and then you can purchase other ones. It's like their counter to a lot of the big VSTs that are out there. <coughs> so I'm definitely going to be messing with that. And introducing core gadget stuff to it as well, it'd be, as long as everything's working correctly, because I just don't feel like I can do anything until core gadget fixes its bug. Um... Oh god. <laughs> Come on. Oh, this is actually getting heavy. This is actually getting heavy. Currently have uh, the changeling on on the TV, the uh, the the 1970s movie horror film. Okay, we're getting to the end. We're getting to the end. This has been thoroughly exhilar ex exhilarating. Can't even say the word exhilarating. Set default wrapper options. How can you get right to the end of the installation and then suddenly it has to do this pause? It's not a true representation of a percentage. Okay, next. Next. Finish. Excellent. So, let us boot this up. The installation needs to be unlocked. Please re enter your account login. Okay, well, we're not going to do that right now. There we go. Look at that. That was it. That was the beast. Let's do a new template. No, let's just do a new basic. Okay, right, cool. We'll go here, we'll just check. This is weird, because it's not installed, and yet it's showing things up here. That's weird. Maybe I need to do a proper... I don't know how you do a proper uninstallation where these don't appear. Because it shouldn't know anything about these right now, because I un uninstalled it, so I don't understand why they seem to... Maybe it's app data... I need to delete app data. Um, so let's let's go in and let's close this. Let's close that. And now let's install called gadget. Maybe the very first installation created the bug, and now now that I have to remove app data, maybe there's still some reference to like a buggy version somewhere, I don't know. But FL Studio should not know about those plugins right now, because I uninstalled everything. So there's clearly something else on my computer right now that is saying these plugins exist. Okay. Validate installation... Okay. Right, so let's boot up FL FL Studio again. <coughs> That's great. It needs unlocking. We'll do it. We'll get there. Um, okay, so let's have a look. Will it let me use plugins? Um, so let's look at London. Yep. Okay. Excellent. Okay, so let's go to the one. Let's go to the one. Lexington. This is where the error always comes up. And this is where the error comes up again. There you go. Access violation, violation of at address 507FF82EBAEAEB in module Lexington Library DLL read of address and then loads of zeros. All zeros and then a, a dot at the end. Full stop. So there you go. So I'm getting that bug. Irritating. Now, somebody else on uh, Twitter, let's have a look, let's log into the old, how's your father, let's go into the old notifications, um, right here we go, recent apps, recent tweets, Okay, that's not for me. That's not for me. Where's my responses? How does this how does this thing work? 
Right, here you go. Not many followers and stuff. Right, so let's go to tweets and replies. Okay, here we go. Rob. Rob1080. Does the Darwin plugin work in Windows? I see the .dll, but it doesn't show up in the, my door no matter how many times I refresh my plugin. So let's look at Darwin quickly. Darwin, Darwin. There we go. I think that's working. Yep. Whoa. Oh, that's good. Yep. So there we go, look. That seems to be working all right. So Darwin works in FL Studio for, and that is for Rob 1080 1080p. So there you go. Um, right. Well, I'll leave it like that. Um, but I should, uh, I should do a test where I don't have any reference to the Core Gadget VSTs um, when I freshly install when they shouldn't shouldn't exist at all. Uh, it shouldn't know anything about them. So. That is definitely something to check, um, but I will leave this video at this and um, leave it for your guys to see how it's been, how I'm, I'm getting the issue every time. Um, but I will do a test and uh, and see if I can remove all of the app data. I assume it's app data that's still behind, and that's what it's looking into. Um, but I'll do a video for that. So I will end this one now. Thank you. Oh, hang on. let's press stop here. Thank you.